Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to be doing your love reading here for the remainder of April 2022. Uh, this is a channel for Virgos, Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link below the video. Click on the link that'll take you to my booking site. All right, you guys. So let's get started. Hope you're all doing well. Hello, everyone in the chat. Let's see what your messages are for the rest of April 2022. And I'm here every day, just about mostly every day, doing a reading for you. So if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And that helps to make, help my channel grow. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. What is the deal? How are you guys doing? How is love? All right, let's see. Okay, so two cards right from the start of the sword in the, the sword in the rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power okay very beautiful energy here truth and love truth and love and you also have boat receiving what you need progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Okay. So, hmm, you're getting some truth encased in a ball of love coming out here. You could be traveling. Maybe somebody's going by boat or traveling by boat. Let me see what's going on here. What else? Okay. Moving on, getting some closure, progression. Things are changed. There's like, you know, sail sailing away sailing away sailing on let me see our journey taking a journey what else do they want to know for you virgo this one i'm pulling myself cupid's arrow wow having faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting and <clears throat> hesitation okay but cupid's arrows is here so hmm some of you are getting some love messages or love is coming some truth, honor, protection, power. Receiving what you need. Okay, let's get into this reading and see what else is going on here. What is this situation? What is happening here? All right. Oh, look at that. Just saw it. bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely a love start coming here. A potential new love beginning happening here. Um, not being let down. No more depression or feeling disappointed. This is a blessing. This is a divine blessing coming in. Your cup, feeling like your, your cup is overflowing. Love coming in for sure. Okay, let's take a look and see what other messages coming in here for you. There we go. Okay. Well, my cards are in reverse and we're not. You know what? Yeah, we're going to take it that way. Okay. Five of Swords reversed. Beautiful energy here. A fair fight. Peace after trouble. Um, so there's something here where the swords are dropping out. You see how they're very heavy at the handles here. Um, so I feel like whatever argument or fighting or feeling shut out, that energy is coming to a close. There, there's an opening up here of some thoughts and having an open mind coming to terms with some truth let's see what else do you have okay knight of pentacles in the reverse with the five of swords in the reverse so hmm somebody who is very stubborn you were dealing with a very stubborn type of person or or they may have seemed like they were lazy or not putting effort in um somebody who might have was taking too long in a situation with the five of swords reversed that feels like no more shut out is happening here there's an it's either a particular person or it's just your love life in general is beginning to open up you, you're gonna start feeling that energy in april especially um it's like i feel like whatever blockages are being removed in april okay blockages are being removed in April and there might have been a person place or a thing or something that you felt like you couldn't 
get past something you couldn't um, break through it feels like there's a breaking through that's happening here let me see somebody's having a breakthrough okay two of pentacles in the reverse hmm, interesting okay so yeah that's what i feel like is going on somebody who is unable to commit that was struggling or there was a feeling of being overwhelmed that's no longer happening here anymore because because the five of swords is in the reverse okay when the five of swords is upright this is a very strong message if someone might have been an abusive relationship or somebody that was just it was like my way or the highway having a very like where this is how it's going to be done and virgo has no say um some of you this just could have been an energy in your love life in general it felt like maybe your past relationships or just in love in general just seemed like you were being dictated to and it seems as if virgo you're going to start seeing things are going to the, the water is going to start flowing here okay the dam is being released, and I feel like at the end of April, it's going to be a big whoosh kind of thing. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like when it rains, man, it pours, and that's what I feel like is going to be happening here in your love life. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, wow. All these reversals, that's that's crazy. You guys, I never, you, you like, I rarely pull reversals, but I feel like these messages are coming out. Whatever temporary separation for some of you might have been going on or a disconnect of some sort, this is a return of love, okay? Um, somebody coming in fully learning from the past and this is a card of, you know, somebody coming home or returning home. There might have been a situation where there was a temporary separation or an energy of like being away and I feel like there's somebody here who's coming back into your life okay let me see maybe they were traveling um, or, or this person you know it's so it's boat so it's basically that's a card of travel they, they could have been travel and on a plane or in a car or somebody went away or on a train or on foot or on a bike or somebody relocated or went away for a while however they went away in whatever way they went away there's a return here okay surprise invitation is coming to you or some type of meeting but there is an element of hesitation here okay let me see hmm. okay eight of pentacles in the reverse and here's the eight of cups again somebody coming to terms with they just weren't putting in the effort to try to make something work all right and and that energy is now being released okay because somebody i feel virgo whoever this person is is viewing you as a, an absolute blessing a divine gift that was brought or is being brought to them somebody might have been fully working um very diligently and now they're free um from whatever work they were doing or they just had a lack of focus um, or ambition as far as love goes um, for others this there might have been somebody who just couldn't you know they were so focused on perfectionism that perfectionism can cause a stalemate because when it's like something it's just spending so much time on the details getting something perfect causes like a stalemate energy like things don't get moving and I feel like maybe that was a case but I feel here that that energy is now gone it's going away and it's opening up like I said the dam the whatever the blockage is like the water is going to start flowing again okay let me see this is pretty profound because it just all ties in very well your love life is just going to be opening up here and you're going to start feeling that um, there's two weeks left of April and I feel like that's when it's going to start coming in from this point well the rest of this week and, and until the end of April things are going to start shifting okay 
Four of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. The very con uh, contradicting energy here. So we have someone here who was, you know, you can't be greeting, greedy and hospitable at the same time. This is what these two cards are. I feel like there was a, uh, hmm, like, look, this guy right here with this Four of Pentacles, it is basically like, it's a Veruca Salt kind of energy. Like this person was like, no, it's all mine. I'm not sharing. Nothing is for you. You can't come in. Uh, possessive, heart, like hoarding kind of an energy. And then this here is like complete opposite. This is re reciprocity, giving and receiving and sharing the wealth. So I feel like either somebody was like really holding back on sharing finances or was just very greedy and not giving in a symbolic way. I feel like somebody's come out of this energy here of you know, just not sharing at all and has now become more in a position of, I feel like it's, it's strange. It, it feels like it, being greedy and hoarding and keeping everything to oneself can cause like an extreme loneliness because there's no sharing, you know, with other people or keeping everything within and not opening up, blocking the heart, you know, and here it is like, opening up i feel like they're and and engaging with others so if or you know maybe it was just somebody wasn't paying the bills or paying child support or or giving back to a situation um the way they should have been or coming to terms with in order to have um a relationship something worthwhile um they can't be greedy somebody here coming to terms with seeing the the contrast you know and how they were i can't hold these cards to save my life you know i feel like somebody's like wow i was really tremendously stubborn with that four of pentacles i mean i just was like you know not happy and just greedy and not sharing and all i kept thinking about was myself and then the six of pentacles is like being generous and, and giving helping out trying to make something better so it you know kind of gives me like somebody was very selfish and struggling because they just felt like if I keep everything to myself and give very little there's also an energy of like somebody here was you know it was like four for me and two for you five for me three for you you know um there might have been some breadcrumbing going on and this person i feel like is coming to terms with they weren't giving enough they were taking more from the relationship than contributing and what they were contributing was very little so there's a there's an energy here of somebody coming to terms, and that's either with you or just coming to terms with it. That's how they've been in their relationships in the past, which is great for them, but this is your reading. So let's see here. It's a return energy. So like I said, the Eight of Cups, somebody coming back, returning home. So this is um, someone that you were connected with before coming back into the picture with a new outlook seeing things differently this time okay so we have our first major arcana so the magician two of wands in the reverse hmm i feel like it's crazy i feel like somebody here They're blaming themselves for why something couldn't get off the ground. That's what I feel like is going on here. This might be very self-effacing energy. Somebody taking a look at their behavior. And I feel like this person is taking a look at their behavior, blaming themselves for not trying to manifest anything. You know, um, they, they may have tried to manifest you to come towards them, but that's a very manipulative energy. I feel like this person is getting into this position with you where it's more along the lines of, you know what, I can't expect. This person, oh, they just said they manifested delays on purpose so that you... Um, 
would not leave. They kept giving false hope or promises. Okay, it was kind of a tricky energy. I feel like somebody had you. It's like they didn't want to lose you. So they kept trying to manifest and make it like, they weren't ready to really move forward in a relationship. They kept delaying or they had issues with planning or they didn't plan, they just planned things. It was just too many setbacks or they created obstacles on purpose. But so that things couldn't move forward, but they didn't want to let go fully. So then they would kind of breadcrumb, you know? So they would give you just enough to keep you there, but never the full amount, okay? There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of like holy, holy why did this per? what is causing this person? Because I feel like they're getting this clarity and truth and having this revelation on their own here, okay? They were not being honorable toward you. I feel like um, they're, they're coming to terms with, they're having to face themselves. Let me see, why did this person, what caused this person to get into, oh, wow, spirits, like right here, right here, right here. Eight of Swords all alone, alone with their thoughts, very insecure, stuck in negative thinking. I'm trying to get this so you could see it. Okay. Um, Self-sabotager. You know, when somebody self-sabotages, it actually affects them more than anybody else. And I feel like this person was a self-sabotager. Their insecurities kept them from believing that they could be worthy of love or that they could have what they wanted. And it's like they wanted to, this person wants to be with you, um, but they didn't think they were deserving of you. And now I feel they're trapped. Maybe you're not with them and there was some kind of separation or uh, there was, because there was a temporary, this person's now returning. So obviously there was some kind of separation. This person was just, the only thing they had left, they had to face themselves. This is all they had left. I feel like when you were gone, uh, you weren't there to pump them up anymore or give them that with which they should have been getting on their own, okay? I mean, it's always nice benefit to have somebody who supports and appreciates you. But at the end of the day, um, you know, if that person's not there, you, you cannot be like completely empty and you have to rebuild yourself up again and you have to trust yourself and, you know, um, become more secure and, you know, manage your emotions and your thoughts and not take every emotion and thought, you know, as gospel, you know, um, because you feel different ways all the time. And I feel like this person was left with just themselves and they weren't getting from you um, that love and support anymore. And that got pretty lonely. It, it, it got pretty lonely and I feel like that's why this person is coming to terms with they have to give to get they can't just keep taking from you okay so this person like I said they just were not making plans with that three of wands reverse it kept delaying um, and just causing setbacks this person was not able to see past their nose to be able to see um, how things would look if they actually contributed or put effort in to try to make something work. If they didn't realize or they couldn't foresee that the love they give, they can, would receive that in return like threefold. It always comes back in threefold. The love you give always comes back threefold, right? And if this person was giving love, but it was not sincere, it will not come back threefold. So let's see, what's going on here? What is this shit? What is this she is? <laughs> okay, the fool in reverse. And the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I feel like spirit's just trying to say here, they're telling me that this person was very careless and super, dependent um this is it feels like a lot of realizations is happening in this person's life okay um
maybe there was a workaholic type of energy. Um, this person had jealousy issues, financial setbacks, or they were envious, very um, dependent financially, and just absent a lot. Um, I feel like they may, I, they just keep telling me creating obstacles in order to not move forward with a relationship. And so an example of that was like, oh, I'm too busy. Or I can't, I can't be in a relationship. I'm too busy, I'm too busy. That wasn't really true. Because somebody who is, you know, really is seeking to be in a relationship will always make the time. And I feel like this was more just careless uh, excuses. Um, this is telling me a story here, a very profound story about two people who really wanted something and one person had too many uh, mental struggles to really face themselves or to even face you, okay? And there was an energy of like self-imprisonment. And I feel like Virgo, you know, it's not really telling me much about you here, honestly. I just feel like this is an energy that somebody's going through at this time, but we can take a look and see um, what role you played in this connection here, what was going on. And I feel like going through the month of April, there's going to be clarity given from somebody here because I do feel like somebody wants to meet up and talk to you and give you some truth here. <coughs> now we do have Aquarius. And we do have Gemini here. So maybe it's an air sign or a Libra that you're connecting with. It doesn't have to be. I don't want to focus too much on the signs, but let me see you, Virgo. What's going on here? Where are you at? Okay. You have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So you know, I feel like Virgo you want someone to make amends and you want to have that truth and clarity because I feel like you took a lot of that on perhaps yourself. Um, maybe you felt like, um, because this person, I don't know if they blamed you. I feel like they got caught, you caught them doing something and, and you are in a position of like, you know, I don't need to get back together with this person. I just, it would be nice to have some closure or an apology. I feel like a lot of you are just kind of in that energy and will be in that energy. Um, I don't feel like you're out seeking an apology or reaching out to try to get one, but I feel like that is something that you would want. So you're not having to carry the burden all on your own of why something didn't work out. Somebody might have blamed you for why things didn't work out because the Five of Swords was there and Five of Swords in the reverse is also an energy of being caught. So um, I do get a sense that you might've caught them. You might've picked up on the fact that they were trying to blame you for why the relationship couldn't move forward to some degree, or maybe you just sensed it. Um, I feel like now you just want truth at this point. Uh, and if you don't get it, you're like, okay, it's whatever. If I don't get it, I'll just make the truth myself and leave it. Okay. There might've been some cheating. Three of cups in the reverse. Um, wow. Or some indulgences or there was a lack of support um i feel like there might have been a third party interference and when i say third party interference it can be a person but it can also be a place or a thing um anything that would interfere in the progression of a relationship it could have been this person's mind or their mental thoughts um, whatever the interference was you know your story better than i do i feel like You'll be okay with an apology here or someone to make amends about that. You know, um, 
not that you're owning it, but you kind of are in this place like, listen, you know, I know I'm not a perfect person, but you know, it can't all be my fault, you know? And so I feel like to some degree, you know, you might have come to terms with you really didn't have the supportive partner that you were trying to have. And I feel like this person is coming to terms with that as well and is going to try to come back in and give you clarity and truth, which I feel like you'd be okay with. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, see, Virgo, you have the Six of Cups reverse with the Two of Wands. I mean, you're just... You're not really, I feel like you've already made a decision here. I mean, you're standing at the crossroads, and but you're not banking on reconciliation. In fact, I don't really feel like you're making, the only plans, you're, you're not making plans for reconciliation with this person. I mean, you're kind of like looking out at the horizon. You're looking out at the world to see, you know, what else might be out there. Um, Virgo, I don't really feel like you're living in the past about anything. I don't think you're naive. I feel like your expectations are very realistic at this point, and um, I don't really see you trying to bring a past relationship back around again. Um, you're pretty much like, well, it is what it is. You know, if they apologize or they give me the truth, and that would be great. Then you know, maybe it's a it would make it a lot easier to just forgive and forget and move on. You know, um, it could be you who's receiving this closure with the boat card, getting what you need, um, arriving to that place where you can finally move on. I mean, you're definitely at the crossroad at this time in your life, and you're definitely like choosing or looking at the paths before you and making a decision about which direction you want to go in your life or in your love life. Why isn't this? You can see it, right? So you're definitely looking out at the horizon. Let me see. Okay. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The Queen of Swords. That's you. Male and female energy. Virgo's like, I'll be damned if I'm going to be left out in the cold by anyone ever again in the rest of my life going forward. F that. As soon as I feel that energy, you're out. <laughs> you're not even given three strikes, Virgo. You're like, one strike, you're out. <laughs> Abandonment? No, F that. Right? So... <laughs> Virgo. I love it. Um, so you're not, you're not dealing with uncertainty anymore. Any kind of uncertainty in your relationships, you know, you're like, look at how she has her hand like this. She's like, come on, give it to me. Give me the truth. Cause I'll give you some truth. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> with that queen of swords energy. You know, you're just definitely like the queen of swords. You know, the Queen of Swords is usually someone who's divorced. They're single. Queen of Swords is usually on their own. Like, totally a very honest person. Self-sufficient. Okay? Tell me why you left me out in the cold. Okay? Look at her hand. You're Sorry. It, it frustrates me because I guess it's just dark. But it's kind of like, you know, give me the truth. Why did you abandon? You know? I just want the truth. Right? I, I don't feel like you're trying to get back into a situation. You know, um, you know, this is like, um, and in some ways I do feel like you're open to talking to this person when they come back in to try to have a conversation with you, but not for the benefit of reconciliation. I feel like you're, you're open to hearing what they have to say about what happened. I feel like, you know, if, if they say, you know, I want to meet you and can we go have coffee or dinner? And I feel like you'll go. I feel like you'll be like, come on out, let's get out of the cold and let's go in and have some coffee and chit chat. And I feel like you're going to talk about stuff, but you're going to be very firm. You know, I mean, you are not, I don't see you, <laughs> you know, I, I just, I mean, this is a card of, you know, in reverse of, I'm sorry, right here, of hope returning, but I feel like it's hope for yourself because a lot of you are left kind of in the dark about some stuff. I just don't feel like, I feel like you have very realistic expectations for anybody from the past. I feel like you're done. I don't feel like you're going back. <clears throat> you don't see, you, I don't, so in other words, what I mean, I'm not telling you to not go back, okay? I just get a sense that you just want some closure right now. And I feel like your mindset really, like you're, you're being quite honest with yourself. I feel like your mindset is, okay, in order to move forward, though, we've got to sort out some shit that happened in the past, 
okay? There's got to be truth. There's got to be transparency, you know, um, so that this does not happen again if I so choose to accept this person back into my life. Some of you are just like, no, it's just done. And if I don't get the closure, it's fine, whatever. I'm moving on, looking for new love or trying to be open to receive that. But if somebody's coming back in here and they're trying again with you, Virgo, they're not going to get past anything with you unless the past issues are, you know, explained. And that, so that, and everything could be sorted out so it can be closed for there to even be hope of starting over because people got to be accountable for their behavior in the past you know it's like if you have a if you have um i don't know i just feel like if you're if you have a partner at in, in a you know a work situation like your business partners and that other person is stealing you know and then you know you kind of catch them but they, they never come back to tell you exactly what happened. They just leave. And then all of a sudden now they want to come back because they feel bad or they're really sorry. Like, you don't just take them back. You're like, whoa, wait a minute. First of all, you need to put all that, that stuff that you stole. You need to re replenish all that. And then you need to tell me why you want to come back. You got to start the whole interview process all over again. Like, why do you want to come back here? And why did you do what you did? And you need to, like, get down on your knees, bloody stumps and all, and explain what happened. And then you're going on probation if you want to come back. Because <laughs> how could I trust you? you got to earn my trust back. That's just how that works. I don't know why that's complicated for people. <clears throat> I think it's okay to forgive. and um, But I don't think that it's okay to just let people back into your life after they've done you wrong. Or they've cheated or they've been lying. You know? Um, be because you love them. I mean, maybe you could do that kind of stuff for your kids. Yeah, unconditional love, but I just feel like with people that you put your trust in, they were there for you. Uh, it's kind of hard to just resume right from where you ended. There has to be this healing period. There has to be this repentance. This has to be this making amends kind of stuff, right? I mean, maybe you don't agree. Maybe you do agree, but guess what? I don't care if you don't agree because I think that that's true. And I don't think anybody wants to just... Nobody in their right mind is going to put all their eggs in one basket with somebody who just keeps breaking those eggs. All right, let's see. So this person is going to come back, though, and give you clarity. They're going to tell you the truth. They're going to reveal everything to you. What you choose to do with that is completely up to you, Virgo. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I will tell you, they are going to be coming with this love offer. And they are going to want to try to start again. And there you go. Let's see what the love messages are here from the angels, from his angels. Okay, so pay attention to the red flags. Interesting about this card, this initially when I just pulled it out, it came up reverse. So I feel like the reason why is the red flags are there. But I feel like if you're going to accept this person back, you're going to have to put those red flags in the past. You, you will have to forgive and not hold a grudge, okay? But you do need to also pay attention to them at the same time. Like, know they're there and keep your eye on it if you're going to take this person back into your life. Um, but don't go looking for more red flags. Look for no more red flags if you're going to re try to rebuild with somebody here because they've got to be coming up and not giving you red flags anymore okay there was red flags in the past you know what they are if you're going to take them back you know have them own their flags but then say okay i don't want to see any more red flags i want you to start showing me white flags you know that kind of thing Start if because if you keep going, if you try to repair the relationship and then you spend the next five years with this person always seeking red flags, you're gonna find them because nobody's perfect. But you want to find more, <laughs> you want to find more white flags if that's even a thing than red flags, okay? And determine what your red flags are. All right, let me see. So I feel like, yeah, worth waiting for. Yeah, there you go. White flags, angel wings. That's what you're looking for, angel wings. That will direct your course. That's going to let you know if you decide to... I feel like 
divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like this whole lesson and everything that you've gone through with somebody was for a reason. There were things for you you needed growth that you needed to learn and the same for this person. Okay. Um, if you see feathers, if you have questions uh, or you can ask to be shown feathers to give you a sign that you're on the right path or that you're going in the, in the, the right direction. Some of you may already be getting them. All right, let me see. Okay, stop, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's what I was talking about. Looking for those white flags instead of the red flags. That's not deceiving yourself, okay? But understand that if somebody's giving, if, if this person comes back into your life and they're giving you like an incredible amount of red flags still and you're still seeing like, like for every three red flags, you're getting one white flag, pay attention then to the red flags. If you're getting for every four red flags, half of a red flag, that's a really good sign. So that's where you want to stay optimistic. Okay. Um, I do feel this person is coming in sincere, but you may not trust that. You may not feel like they're coming in sincere because you, you know what? It's okay. If you feel that way in the, in the beginning, it's fine. That's totally normal to feel that way. So you have passion and I hide behind material things. Okay. Let me see what's coming in. What other messages? Okay. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. And a leap of faith, it's safe to make this move that you're considering here, Virgo, whether that's out the door or back in. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Rejection. The rejection is actually divine protection. That's what I feel like. Whatever you were going through, there was a growth process and you're still growing through it, okay? You're learning about yourself and how you handle relationships going forward interference that's what i said an external party was intruding on this relationship so could have been like i said another person it could have been um work somebody might have been a workaholic maybe there was an addiction um or just a thing um maybe somebody was just Put, would put maybe there was an obstacle or something between you that interfered okay it could have been religion for some it could have been distance for other it could have been social status economic status you know a whole bunch of different things that could have interfered in a relationship not moving forward and I feel like there's going to be some conversation about this um, Virgo you might you know you might just say to somebody the obstacle between us is just too great Okay, and you don't want to hurt this person or leave them out in the cold, but you do want to be truthful. Some of you might actually tell that person um, they need to overcome the obstacle that they've placed before you. And if you have any obstacle that you need to overcome, you need to overcome that yourself in order for the relationship to work. But I feel like Whatever the interference is, that needs to be eliminated in order for something to happen here. Okay, let's see. What other messages are there for you here, Virgo? Oh, okay. A deeply loving male. All right, in this deck, this is my water sign energy. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, so as a male, masculine, this could be your energy or it could, if you're um, the feminine, it could be yours. It could also be the other person, okay? Being significant in your life at the end of April here. Loves you very deeply, has very deep feelings for you, this person. Okay, good vibes. Okay, positive vibes. 
So this is the sun card, basically. You know what? This is all about material happiness and a joyous outcome and success. So I feel like um, a very positive energy is going to be coming from this uh, water sign coming forward. Let's see. Or they will be, they're sending you very good, sending you positive vibes, Virgo. Let me see. Okay. Huh. <laughs> to clear out the toxic, toxicity, toxicity. Okay. There was definitely some devil energy here in this connection. Um, addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. It's just with that sun card, it's shining light on the toxic. You know, it's opening up that wound and and filling it with light. It's like cleansing it with sunbeams, you know, um, and, and love, okay? I feel like also they're saying that this sun car card is exposure, exposing the toxic things. Like this person coming in here is going to be really showing you how because the sun is a very healing energy really showing you how they're healing that toxic stuff that they brought to this connection on their end okay on their end and look it takes two to tango you know um if you have any toxic stuff that you brought to it virgo i know that you're healing i know that you're healing that i know it i just have faith in you virgo because you're gonna do that anyway and you're healing the self oh interesting regret yep somebody's here sitting with a lot of regret that's a lot of the coming back and making amends you are going to get that from somebody here and apology for sure you're not expecting it like i said you're not like sitting around waiting for that closure that apology you're going to get it unexpectedly actually even though i just told you as i said there's a surprise coming to you and I feel like your jaw is going to drop because you're, like I said, a lot of you have just said, you know, it is what it is and you've given up and you're just moving on. It's going to come out of the blue. I really do feel like it's going to come out of the blue. You know, um, they regret how they let you slip out of their life because of their own self-imposed issues. And that love is coming. They're going to come with that big old giant Ace of Cups love for you. <laughs> Pass returns. And it was in the reverse. So just remember, you know, for some of you, this could be in the reverse because you're like rejecting it. And, you know, for others, but this is, this is a past person coming back in. Okay. Um, I feel like also, I feel they're, they're saying with the past returns in the reverse, again, that's a six of cups in the reverse. It's kind of the same message. It's like this person is still kind of living in the past, you know, about the connection. They haven't let go. Um, they're still kind of naive. They do come in with this energy of if I just apologize and open up to them and reveal and tell them everything, Virgo will take me back. And... They might be in for a little bit of a rude awakening because, like I said, you might hear them out, but I don't know that you're going to take them back fully. I feel there is an energy here with this person that if they just, you know, reveal everything, that should do it. I don't think Virgos, <laughs> you really just don't get that with Virgo. I mean, come on, right? Um, Virgo's like, hold up a minute, wait, <laughs> just wait a second. Just let me get my chair. Let me sit down here wait you think that you're just going to come in here willy-nilly <laughs> and just apologize with your feet still attached to your legs and you can still walk no 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 we want blood virgo's after blood bleed for me <laughs> prick your finger <laughs> let me see how much you're how how sorry you are virgo you know what if anybody's gonna make anyone because virgo dives deep virgo's like i am committed i am all the way i am loyal i will serve i will give and give and give and when somebody screws takes advantage of you virgo mm -mm. 
you're going to have to just sit there with those bloody legs and you're going to have to find somebody to give you a tourniquet to stop the bleeding because I am not. You're sitting there. You can sit in that waiting room till I'm ready. <laughs> I feel like Virgo. You're just, you know, you can't just walk in here and just think that you're going to apologize to me and everything's just going to be fine. No, you're going to have to do some work. You're going to see. <laughs> Spirit's like, direct honest female. Boom, there you go. Virgo's not taking any shit from anybody. And that right there, that's your energy. You got that sword up and cuts like a knife. Precision. And you're waving your hand like Bruce Lee, like, come on, come on, come at my sword. Come on. <laughs> that's why Virgos are usually um, on their own because <laughs> everybody's afraid to get near them. <laughs> <laughs> people are like oh nope can't mess with her nope or him nope virgo just can't get nothing by virgo okay well this is a fun reading um all right we're gonna get into a little bit of extra I'm just going to pull some extra cards here and I'm just going to um, do these as angel messages for you. Oh, already the world. Here's your messages. A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever the F you want. Be proud of yourself, Virgo. <laughs> you earned it. Let me see what other message for you. Okay, you got Ten of Wands, working too hard or too many hour, hours, the need for balance in life, let others help you, health problems could be coming due to stress, so get yourself some good sleep and R&R &R time, relaxation. Okay, oh, damn, Six of Cups is in the upright. Children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. Okay, some of you might be doing that. Um, maybe you're thinking of somebody from your childhood. Okay, one more. Huh. You have the Nine of Cups. Wishes coming true. Your dreams becoming a reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will be well. See, Virgo, I kind of feel like for you it's a win-win here, you know? Because if somebody comes back in and apologizes and gives you that closure you want, you're free. Um, and if they don't, they never return, you're free. And you don't have to deal with it anymore. You know what I mean? So... What have you got to lose, really? You still have your life ahead of you. There's always going to be another love opportunity. As, you know, I, I once heard someone very special to me say, you know, there's a C for every S. <laughs> there's, there's someone for everyone. And if you think the person that you were with is the only person that you're ever going to be with, or that they don't, the only one who's ever going to be right, you're mighty mistaken. All right, let's see what the Chinese message is here for you. All right, so year of the rat, year of the goat, year of the horse, year of the snake, year of the dragon, year of the tiger, and I don't want to pull doubles, could be two goats, okay, could be two dragons, year of the rooster, and year of the monkey, okay, so it's either you and your person or it's just your person all right let's get into your other signs to see who else is showing up here hope everyone is doing well yeah virgo i just feel like you're you're just not you're, you're just not dwelling I, I i'm feeling like i mean i don't know that I feel like you're excited about your life. You're excited about something right now. I'm not exactly sure. It could be your life or something's going on in your life. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but you're, you're feeling hopeful. However things turn out, there's like this, this sense of like everything's going to be okay. No matter what happens, no matter what direction, 
like you're you're coming into april if you're not feeling it yet you will be where you know what all's well you know what i do when i'm having like this is on personal level when i'm at, when i'm like i wake up in the morning and i posted this on my twitter i wake up grateful because i'm not in a basement in a in a I'm not in a basement in some other country and my city's being bombed or shelled. You know what I mean? Like, I, try, I take it real seriously. You know, I mean, I know things could be so much worse. And I try to just find gratitude in my day. You know, I try to find things to be grateful for. You know, and I'm telling you, I feel like when you have that perspective and you have that, you change your perspective of, you know, Maybe things feel bad for you right now, but how much worse could it be? And I feel like if you, if you, if you look at it like from that point of view, I do really feel like you can get yourself in a much better place if you're struggling with something. I know it's not easy. Um, all right, let's get, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use... These things are so loud when I pull your signs here. So I put like some pads down. Let's get some dates. I wanna first take a look at when this person is going to be reaching out. Okay, it went in April. It's already 11th, so. Okay, for some of you it's going to be the 12th. Um, wow, that would be now. Okay, today. You might get a message today from somebody. Um, all right, let's see. Another date. Now again, the 12th, we have the... Okay, they were saying the 11th, but... For some, I'm hearing May 4th. Okay, we have the 13th, April 12th, 13th, or 16th. You may be getting a message from somebody, okay? Or hearing from this person. Okay, so if that doesn't play out, it would be from the 12th to May 4th. You're going to be hearing from somebody here. All right. Signs, we have Leo. We have... You have Taurus, and you have another Virgo, okay? Important dates, the 8th, the 9th, the 11th, and the 12th, okay? All right, we have Cancer, Leo again, Sagittarius. Um, other important dates, 4th, the seventh and the tenth. Okay. What other signs? Okay. Gemini, Libra, Pisces, and one more. Scorpio and Aquarius. Okay. And birth dates for Virgos. Okay. September 2nd, the 9th, the 3rd, the 12th, and also the 23rd, the 29th, and the 26th. And I would say of August. Okay, if that resonates for you, these are your messages. And yeah, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. Um, just so you know, if you want to get a personal reading from me, I will be going on vacation April 15th through the 22nd. So I won't be doing personal readings during that time. So if you need to get one, get one now. Um, I do have a couple of specials. You can get a 30 minute phone call, $50 off. And I also have um, $10 off a one hour phone reading. All right, you guys, so I'll be back. <clears throat>
on April 23rd, but also I will still be doing readings, okay, while I'm on vacation. But um, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for being in the chat. I will see you guys here tomorrow. Have a lovely evening, a lovely day. I wish you all the best. Take care.